the Olight Balder RL. Let's check it out. Guys, Olight's been making quality flashlights for over a decade. In fact, it's one of my go-to EDC lights. I carry one in my pocket every day for the past eight years. I mean, they're just good quality lights. We've done a lot of torture tests. We beat them. You know, we've done a lot of things with them. But once they started entering into the weapons-mounted lights, uh, those have been hugely successful. Whether it's the PL2 Valkyrie or even the PL Mini, which will fit almost any handgun. Uh, they have gotten into the laser light combo with the Boulder Pro, which is a green laser, and now they're introducing the RL for red laser. And these are exceptional weapons lights. They're easy to mount. We'll take a look at just a lot of the features. But if you're looking for a weapons mounted light with a laser, I think this is going to be one to take a look at. Now, Olight's giving a 10% discount using Suits 0 I'll have a link down below in the description. It is an affiliate link. Now guys, you'll probably hear me call this the Baldor Pro, which is the green laser, but this is the RL. But with the Suits discount, with the link down below, you get 10% off whatever you buy at the Olight website. Now the Baldor Pro is a light laser combination. And this is really based on the earlier Valkyrie. Uh, this is the standard Valkyrie PL2. This is a very simple system. It's really easy to attach to your firearm. And really with this beam distance, it can go on a pistol or a rifle. Now guys, whenever handling firearms, we'll go ahead and make sure that the guns are unloaded. Drop our magazine, check the chamber, and it's empty. Here we have the HK P30. Just take this lever, pop it open, squeeze it right onto your Picatinny rail, and it fits. I mean, it is very simple. And of course, your finger pads naturally are within reach. And uh, man, this thing is bright. But honestly, this is just the 300 lumens. Double click, and then man, you have a lot of lumens, 1,120 lumens. And then if you wanna hit strobe, just hit both at the same time, and you have strobe. Now here we have a little small toggle switch, and we have it on just the light here. If we turn it one more time, it has the light and the laser. You can kinda of see that marking has a little beam coming out. And then go all the way across, and then we have just laser. So you have a number of different modes. So here, you can see the laser, and then we'll bring it down. That is the light and laser. You can barely see the laser right here because the camera's adjusting for the light. And then all the way across, straight light. If you want to go from that 1120 lumens, just double click, and you're down to 300. To remove the light, just pull your paddle, press, and it comes right off. And it is a very secure fit. We have shot thousands of rounds with this type system. Uh, one thing it does have is the Glock rail installed, but you can put the 1913 Picatinny rail in here. It even has the uh, hex key where you can turn this and take it off. Very simple to take off. But guys, to be honest with you, I use the Glock and it always works. I mean, no matter what I put it on. But if you really want to get detailed, you can take and put that Picatinny rail on there instead. Now it's very easy to line up your sight, so there's an included tool where you can change the elevation right here. You can just turn this and then it'll adjust where the laser is pointing. And then right here on the side you can adjust the windage. And so it's really easy to do and again the tool is included. Here at the battery compartment you can just pull this little lever down and it pops open and then you can take out your batteries. Again they are included, the CR123s, and then just put them back in. Go ahead and take that little lever and pull it down and it'll close and then snap it back. And guys, it's a real secure fit. They use the TIR lens, which is really great for light transmission and it keeps a lot of reflection down. Uh, it is a pretty pinpoint beam, which we'll look at when we go outside. And it is a high performance LED and this is natural white. 
The light is IPX4, which means it's waterproof up to one meter. Here's the Boldor RL. And guys, we've done this a thousand times. We could leave it in here for an hour, two hours, and it'll be fine. And it's impact resistant up to one meter. Now it comes, of course, in the black, but it also comes in the desert sand, which is really more of a bronze finish. And they are offering a limited edition gunmetal gray. Uh, I didn't have one. It didn't come in in time. But that is a limited edition. There are only going to be limited quantities of these. And it runs about $10 more than these two. But uh, when Olight has those limited editions, man, they sell out quick. And, of course, that desert tan goes perfectly on this Beretta M9A3. I mean, and it really goes good with any of your FDE colors. Now you can put the black on there and it goes with the black controls. Or if you just like the desert tan, it looks pretty good with the black as well. Now these have a really nice hard anodized finish on them, which Olight puts on there. This more is more of a matte kind of desert tan finish. Uh, they're 3.3 inches in length and they weigh four and a half ounces. Uh, so the aluminum body is really nice and uh, the secure fit uh, guys, I'm telling you, we have used these for a long time, and uh, this is a really secure system, but what I love is it's so easy to take on and off. Now, the runtime on these for the 1120 lumens is one minute, and then it drops down to 500 lumens for 120 minutes. Uh, on the 300 lumen setting, you can go down to 225 minutes, which equals about four hours. And that is with the laser on. If you turn the laser off, it increases it usually about five minutes. All right, guys, we have the Baldor RL for red laser. And this is at the 300 lumens. Those trees are about 30 yards off. Go ahead and double click. All right, we got a good, nice spot. It's not too intense, which I like. It gives you a little bit of spill on the outside. Uh, so, you know, you can really pick up detail. And yet, you're not just blinded on the outside so I really like that now we can try the light and laser I don't think at this distance on the camera is gonna pick it up I can see it very well you might be able to pick it up and then we're just gonna try the laser I'm not sure if you can pick it up I'm seeing it very clearly one thing about tonight is is it's kind of hazy out here so it's it's kind of muting the light a little bit but you can still get an idea that this is a very bright light and at about 30 yards, I mean, that's not bad. We got it up the street. Uh, we're really getting lining up those reflectors. Nice, good beam. Again, it's not a pinpoint beam, but it's shining out there. Top of that hill is about 100 yards. So we're getting a pretty good distance with the light. You can see just right in here in front of us. Now I'm going to go ahead and bring it to 300. And there's the 300. Out front, you're doing good. Uh, the reflectors are lighting up all the way out. But it's definitely less light. But still not bad. And guys, again, it's hazy out here. I'm a little bit... What I'm seeing in the viewfinder and what I'm seeing in front of me are two different things. The price on the Baldor Pro with the red laser, uh, these run $129.95. Uh, they're offering a 10% discount using Such00, and I'll have a link down below. You click the link. It is an affiliate link, and you do get 10% off. Now, these do have a five-year warranty, and they do have a 30-day money-back guarantee. And again, guys, this is a great time to add an accessory to your firearm, considering ammunition and guns are completely wiped out. So be safe out there. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic.
140 meters of throw. Uh, this is an IV light, and uh, this is a. You're gonna set in the Batmobile. <laughs> and here the Batmobile comes back. I guess that makes me wrong. Of course, I got a tack tank always with me on my flashlight reviews. He watches my back. You're not right. Attack cat. <laughs>